What's going on, YouTube? For SD here. I hope you guys are doing well. Season 2 of X Defiant is here. So, does it save the game, or does it push it closer to peril? Honestly, I don't think it does either. I think this is a step in the right direction for X Defiant, but by no means does it save the game. But it also doesn't contribute to the game failing. I think there are a lot of positives with Season 2, while there are also negatives. If there's anything I'm going to say with Season 2, it's that it contributes more to the inconsistencies of this game. And unfortunately, that seems to be an overarching theme for X Defiant. There is a ton of potential here. And when the game is running smoothly and optimally, man, does it feel great. But unfortunately, that experience is extremely inconsistent. It varies game to game, and it varies player to player. There are some players that are raving about Season 2, and there are other players that are ranting about it. And the players ranting, I don't really mean the players that are hating on the game for the sake of hating on it. I mean legitimately ranting because they're experiencing those inconsistencies. And one of the inconsistencies that has popped up with Season 2 is kill trading. There has been more kill trading in Season 2 than at any point in X Defiance history, during the beta, during the server test sessions, prior to Season 1, and Season 1 all included. Within the first few days, I've had more kill trades than all of that time. And maybe it's just a band-aid for the netcode issues, or maybe this is the direction they're trying to move it. But the problem that I've noticed, especially with kill trades, is that one game, they're rampant, but the next game, they're non-existent. And these are the inconsistencies that plague X Defiant and ruin the overall experience. And as a result, a game mode like Bomb, something that has been highly anticipated for this community, kind of feels lackluster because you don't know what type of experience you're going to be getting game in and game out. Those inconsistencies lead to you having less fun. And because bomb is one life and you're done, if you are on that side of the inconsistent netcode, if you're on the side of a bad game, it's just not fun and makes you not want to play. At least in respawn modes, you can overcome it to an extent, and it doesn't feel as oppressive. But in a one life mode like bomb, it does become a bit of an issue. But while we talk about bomb, I actually have enjoyed myself in the one game I played. I didn't have those inconsistencies, but I'm looking forward to jumping back into it and playing more of it as time goes on. Because I missed the entire launch of Season 2. I was away with work, and that was really disappointing. It seems whenever something important happens with X Defiant, I'm always gone. <laughs> it was Sweden earlier this year, and now it was me going away for work. So I missed a lot of action for Season 2, and I really wish I could give a more in-depth look. But with what I've played so far... I've enjoyed myself to an extent. I see the potential this game has, and I feel we've gone in a step in the right direction. But those inconsistencies are problematic. And I've been following along in the subreddit and on Twitter that a lot of players' complaints, again, comes with some of the balancing issues that this game has, especially when it comes to factions. And that needs to be remedied. And I don't think that that was the expectation with Season 2. We just wanted a better launch of a season. Because if you remember back with Season 1, when Season 1 launched, it was such a letdown because the game felt kind of broken. And unfortunately, it has felt that way for players again here. With FPS issues, stuttering issues, performance problems, all of that has migrated into Season 2 here for some players. And again, I know this isn't the situation for some of you. For even the majority of you, perhaps. But I still want to point it out as a negative to Season 2, because the goal of this game should be providing the same level of performance to every single player. I think back to games like Halo 3 and Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1. The reason why they're held with such a high standard and such high regard with the FPS community is because they perform so well. It didn't matter who you were or what kind of console you were on, everybody had the same level of performance. You could turn that game on today and it felt the same as it did in 2010. But with X Defiant, it feels like game to game, moment to moment, the experience greatly differs. Sometimes you're going to have a super smooth match. Other times you're going to have one of those stuttery matches where the performance isn't great. Or your net head, uh, pardon me, where the hit detection is off. And that all leads to you not enjoying yourself so much. Because I think the game could make up for some of the lack of content if it performed consistently throughout. 
But that's sort of my thoughts on the negative side of Season 2. I don't think that all of this pushes it closer to peril by any means. I, I don't think that it's going to die because of it. I think they can resolve it. Trying to get the game to perform consistently is got to be their number one issue right now. That's what they've got to focus on. And I think if they're able to do that, we're in a good spot. So now let's talk about what they've done right. Well, first and foremost, the brand new map, Waterfront, is magnificent. This is one of my favorite maps in this game from day one, from moment one, from game one. It plays so well, it flows so well, and it makes me wonder why Call of Duty can't do this, but we're talking about X Defiant. This is a well-designed map, a well-made map, it looks beautiful, and it plays awesome. Regardless of if it's Domination or Occupy, it flows well, and I really, really enjoy it. There's a predictability to it that I really like, and the visuals are incredible. So awesome job there, X Defiant team. There was also some concern that the Highwaymen were going to come in and be an extremely oppressive faction from day one. That their passive was going to be too powerful. I haven't noticed it in my gameplay so far. I still haven't unlocked the Highwaymen, but I will probably do that in the next couple days. So I'll, I'll test it out then. But as it stands right now, I haven't noticed them being more oppressive than, let's say, the Cleaners. Or more oppressive than the Phantoms. Like, I, I feel that they nestled themselves in as one of the stronger factions in the game. They're, they're infinitely better than the GS Commando, but they're not that overpowered. Maybe over time, as players learn to use them a little bit more, they'll become a little bit more oppressive, because I think it took some time for people to realize how strong the Cleaners were. But nonetheless, I, I don't think they've done anything here that's game-breaking. So that's a positive. And I really just love the overall feel of more stuff being in the game. There seems to be more content to grind for now, which is a massive plus, and even the battle pass seems to be improved on the cosmetic side. And I want to touch on my personal experience with the game so far. It feels better than it did in Season 1. I know other people are experiencing performance issues. I didn't have those issues. I felt that the game was performing optimally for me. I felt that my hit detection was more consistent. I felt the netcode was more responsive. But that is my personal experience. That might not be the same for you. So with that being said, I am curious to know how you feel about Season 2 of X Defiant. Are you on the side of thinking it's an overall positive? Or do you think it's overall negative? Would love to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.